All right, lots going on today, but you're going to need your sentence words. And if you don't have the sentence words, you'll have to write the ones that I do on some cards um, and then in like index cards, and then um, we're going to work on them together. So I will show you which words, and you'll have to pause the video to color them in. Uh, there's a lot of them today. It's not what we usually do. So lots of new words today because lots of words that rhyme, and we learn them all together. So first, before we get started, we are going to do our vowel extension chart because I just want to keep practicing those vowel sounds, and it's really important we can stretch those out in the middles of the words that we're sounding out right now, and then we can hear and write them down. So let's just go through together. A, A, F, A, E, A, D, E, I, I, T, I, O, Octopus, A, U, Up, Up. All right, since we finished that, I'm gonna move it to the side. You should be able to see my words here on the side. I think that you can see all of them just right. So two of them are already colored yellow for me. The words are me and be, so you can look and find those words. The other ones that you will also have to color yellow today are the other words that end in E, she. Oops, I'm gonna come over here. I color in she, we which is one of the words with a capital letter today. He, another one with a capital letter. And I think that's all of them. We, he, me, she, the. Lots of words with that E on the end. So go ahead and pause the video and color your words in that are supposed to be the sight words for today. And then you can cut them out and be ready to do our work together. So now that your words are colored and cut out, we are going to build some sentences. We're just going to be moving a couple of those sight words around today to practice. So the first one we're going to do is we went home. So we're going to start with our capital letter word, we. I'm going to move these over. Got lots of choices. Went. I've got a lot of W words today. I'm actually going to move it this way so I don't have to keep changing directions. We. Um, went. There are lots of W words, but because we already know we is the sight word, we're going to start with we, and then we're going to look at the other two, w and w. Which one is went? Went. Think about the letters that you hear in the word. We went. Here we go. We went home. Home and he both start with an H, but this is a capital H, so it's the beginning of sentences. Home is another word. We went home. You do not have a period today to put on your word, but I don't want to forget mine, so I'm going to stick my period on the end. Oops! If it sticks, oh, barely sticking today. We went home. All right, next, let's change it from we went home to he went home. What sound do we hear at the beginning of that word? He. It's a tricky one because it's just a little bit of air. He went home. Well, find another capital word right here. And hopefully you colored in the word he. H-E, he. Now I'm going to make it even trickier. We're going to change it to she went home. She. Can you remember what makes the sh sound? S-H. She has a digraph in it. Awesome. Sh she. She went home. All right, let's mix this up just a little bit. We're going to change it to we will be home. We will be home. So we need the word we again. We're going to move this out of the way. Whoops. We. We will be home. Well, we know this is not the word will, so think and look for your words, changing those W words. Here is will. We will be home. We know this is the word home, so we're missing something here in the middle. We will be 
Oh, that's another one of those sight words, the word be. So we're going to push that into our sentence. We will be home. All right, so the last one, which is the trickiest of all. It will be for me. So it, you should already know the word it because it's a sight word of ours. It will be for me. Let's see. It. We don't need we anymore. Let's put it up. It will be. Oh, good. Those are all words we have already. It will be for me. Is that right? For. No, home doesn't work anymore. It will be for. It's an airy sound. It needs that F sound at the beginning. For. It will be for me. Me rhymes with B and we and she and he. So let's look for the mm one. Me. What fun trick words we have this week. You're going to do a great job learning how to spell these because as long as you know the first sound, mm, sh, or b, or w, there are all these w, or h, or m, or sa, there are lots of sounds at the beginning, but they all just end in an e. The e makes the e sound. It makes its name. So working on those words this week, practice spelling them, practice writing them, practice hearing them, and we're going to do a great job remembering lots of words this week because they all look so similar.